Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am Aifah Izzah binti Ahmad Sabri from School of Electrical System Engineering Unimed In this video, I would like to review about this book Swiss Family Robinson Swiss Family Robinson is a novel by Johan David Wyss, first published in 1812. This novel about a Swiss family of immigrants whose ship bound for the fast fee by grace of course and a shipwreck whereabouts. Sadly, the ship crew evacuated without them, and William, Elizabeth, and their four children, Fritz, Jack, Ernest, Franchise, are left to survive alone. As the ship tells about the father William prays that God will spare them. The ship survived the night and the family find themselves within a sight of a tropical desert island. The next morning, they decide to get to the island they can see beyond the reef. With much effort, they construct a vessel out of tubs. After they fill the tubs with food and ammunition and all other articles, can safely carry their row toward the island. Two dogs from the ship named Turk and Juno swim beside them. Upon reaching the island, the family set up a makeshift camp. William knows that they must prepare for a long time on the island and his thoughts are as much on provision for the future as for their immediate wants. William and his older son Fritz spend the next day exploring the island. The family spends the next few days securing themselves against hunger. William and Fritz make several trips to the ship in their efforts to bring ashore everything useful from the vessel. The domestic animals on the ship are towed back to the island. There is also a great store of firearms, ammunition, hammocks for sleeping, carpenter's tools, lumber, cooking utensils, silverware, and dishes. Initially, they construct a tree house, but as time passed, after Elizabeth, their mother, is injured climbing the stair down from it, they settle in a more permanent dwelling in part of a cave. Fritz rescue a young English woman named Jenny Manrose whose shipwreck elsewhere on their island. The books cover more than 10 years. William and all the boys explore various environments and develop homes and gardens in various sites about the island. In the end, the father wonders if they will ever see again the rest of humanity. Eventually, a British ship that is in search of Jenny Manrose anchors near the island and discovered by the family. The captain is given the journal containing the story of their life on the island, which is eventually published. Several members of the family choose to continue to live in tranquilly on their island while several of them return to Europe with the British. Important character in this novel is William, the patriarch of the Robinson family, and also a father. He is the narrator of the story and leads the family. He knows an enormous amount of information on almost everything the family came across, demonstrating bravery and self-reliance. He represents many middle-class virtues and belief including a strong religious sentiment because of his good sense, practical knowledge and understanding of human nature, he and his family succeed in establishing themselves on the island with European type civilization. Furthermore, William is innovative, strong will and crucial for the family survival. The theme for this novel is about family. Though the Robinson family become stranded on an uninhabited tropical island, the members never question their ability to survive together as a family. In addition, 
the more tribulation they weather and learn from, the closer they grow together as a family. Every problem they overcome, they do so working together, including finding a safe and winter-proof place to live and finding enough to eat. Also, mistakes are made. No one grows angry and no one blames on another. There are three issues in this novel. First, surviving the shipwreck. The other passenger and crew have taken the lifeboats and the ship has capsized on a reef. Thus, the first task they need to accomplish is to get from the capsized ship to the island they can see. To solve this, they build a raft and use it to not only get to the island but to carry with them all the useful materials they can save. Second, protection from elements. In order to survive, they need to be protected from the weather including rain, cool and wild animals. At first, they build a tent and gradually improve it. But eventually, they discover a cave that becomes a more secure home. Third and last is food. They need to discover reliable sources of food to avoid starving. This initially means hunting and gathering, but over the long term, it means agriculture to provide a more secure and reliable food supply. They also need to create secure ways of storing food safe from monkeys and other wildlife. I take issues on food to be expand more. One of my close friends have experience on issues about food. She told me that she feel hungry, bad and stressed. She did not be able to eat for this due to financial problem of her family face after her parent got fired due to economic crisis. During this, she going to school and nights going to do part-time work as a waiter. I also suggest her to ask some help from Bakat office nearby so she could focus more on her study. She feel relief and receive about 1,000 monthly for her whole family from Zakat office. Another good news is her parents also got a new job. Now, she doesn't need to do part-time work anymore during nights and she can focus on her study fully. Method of surviving a different. If Swiss family Robinson need to discover reliable sources of food from the island, but my friend need to work and find another alternative way to continue living, but their purpose is same, is to avoid starving. I think there's no need further continuation of the topic, as the topic itself is already have a happy ending. Because the Robinson parents and two of the sons want to spend the rest of their life on the island. Two of the boys want to go home again and see what they have missed. When a ship comes to take Jenny back to England, they decide to go with her. The parents decide to stay. The island was discovered and even unnamed animal. They are hoping to build a happy society there with their remaining years. Yes, I would like to recommend this story to my friend Fatiha. She will love this story because it's full of surviving skill and adventures from start until end. You never get boring while reading this story. I expect she will think this story 
a mastery as you gain a lot of knowledge from it and somehow we will need to practice it when the time comes who knows right maybe one day you will get stranded in a deserted island